Hello there, I'm Alex, and I'm not leaning like this to look sexy. It's the only way I can fit in frame with all of this, and also not have the camera miles away. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to make a video about something I sort of MacGyvered together. This. It's a bearing cleaner for yo-yo bearings. Um, it's basically a speaker with a jar mounted to it. It's, it's really not that complicated. Uh, this is sort of a revision of it though. I did previously have the speaker mounted simply to the inside of its original housing. Uh, it was a shit speaker. Um, and it's been replaced three times over. So it was sort of just lying around. Um, but this is going to be a bit easier to clamp down because the one issue I had is it shook around a lot. Um, but we'll get to that. Um, so yeah, the, um, it's just a jar. There's a little pizza. Um, thing that stops the cardboard from pressing onto the pizza uh, and it's just there so you can hold the jar a bit easier to screw and unscrew the lid. Um, I am going to mount a speaker terminal on the back at some point when I think of a good way to mount it cleanly um, but for now this is just an old stereo amplifier it doesn't need to be anything special um, just needs enough power to drive your speaker and um, some decent frequency response. I've just done some alligator clips and because yeah, they work. So yeah, just put that in. Pretty simple. <coughs> now we take the thing and it's, that's just wired in as we through back. And we just do this with one of these adapters. It's set for mono so it doesn't matter. And we get that a tone generator, or in this case, an iPhone. I do have an app with a specific tone generator in it, and I'm out of shot again. Um, it would also help if I turned on the amplifier. <coughs> and power. It's good to start with it all the way down. <coughs> so you can sort of ramp it up as you go. So make sure there's volume over here. And then we start. Okay, that's fairly. There we go. And that's basically the whole concept of it. <coughs> Rather than having to shake the jar manually for five minutes or so, you stick it in here, it shakes for you, you piss off and do something else, you come back and it's not, a, not only it's shook, you don't have to sit it and then shake it anymore, it's, just, it's kept shaking the whole time and it's good to go. Um, after that I give it a blow with the air compressor and it's good. Um, <coughs> the only thing is it will do that. And the whole bench is shaking now but uh, in it shaking around there's a lot of wasted energy. So I want to clamp it down. But then you also you have the option with the tone generator can go really, really high, and it will um, be agitated at a much finer level, but it's, I'm, I'm not sure how useful it's going to be as an actual sonic cleaner, it's more of an agitator. Um, um, I'll stick some acetone and a bearing in it, and we can give it a look. Okay, so now that I've got this clamped down with the G-clamps, for the most part. Um, I can now unscrew the top. And I like to um, fill my acetone with one of these syringes. You can get them for medicine, or ones more this size you get for uh, like mixing fuel uh, for, say, an RC plane. Um, so it just makes it much tighter. You're not pouring, spilling everywhere. You're not squirting it in your face. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a bit much in there. Easy done. Um, and then we take the bearing. We pop the lid off and drop it in, obviously. Nothing all that complicated. Now we ramp all this back up again. Clamp down, it's not rattling around. 
well, fair it is, but the whole unit isn't. So it's just giving it a good shake. Uh, leave for 10 minutes, come back, and it's thoroughly cleaned. Um, and then we simply do the usual. A fish bearing out here. Back and forth here. And I'll give that another quick hit with the air compressor in a minute. But that already sounds much cleaner. So yeah, that's my... Um, Sort of automatic bearing cleaner agitator. Um, I will at some point still make that video about those Sony headphones I got, um, <laughs> but I'm a lazy piece of shit. <clears throat> so there's that. But anyway, so there is one other advantage to this. So if you're doing a bunch of stuff where you clean the bearings, um, you can still play music through it. Does it sound great? still clean your bearing. Um, oh, actually, I should mention the jar because you do want to have the smallest jar possible for a couple of reasons. Uh, so the jar itself is smaller, so it weighs less, but also so that if it's uh, smaller in diameter, you put less acetone in it to fill it enough, so there's less weight there for the speaker to have to move. Um, the only issue is, such a small speaker, the dome becomes a mounting issue at the center of the speaker. So, um, that's the other reason I have the pizza thing. Uh, just, it was easier to handle it that way. But yeah, that's, um, that's about it. Uh, so yeah, I hope you found this interesting, and I'm signing out again. Uh, should, I, should I punch the camera or something? Whatever. <laughs>